WGN's Brona Tumulty joins us now with details on the new state budget, which Governor Pritzker just signed today. Good evening, guys. Yeah, lawmakers signed off on the spending plan last week and then turned it over to the governor. It's about $400 million more than he requested in February, but he greenlighted it this morning. Thank you for joining me as we celebrate passage of yet another historic budget for this state. Governor Pritzker signing off on a $53 billion spending plan today, which he says will make life easier for everyday Illinoisans. You heard about the tax cuts that we put into this budget to make sure that we're addressing affordability, especially now as people have experienced inflation in the last few years and as inflation still hasn't gone below 3%, it's at about as I understand, about 3.2%. The budget relies on more than a billion dollars in revenue increases, but that part of the package hasn't gotten the governor's signature just yet. It includes a hefty tax hike on sports betting companies and corporations. We're the third largest sports betting market for sports betting companies, and we had a, a, a much lower uh, tax rate than many of the largest of those markets and we're just kind of bringing ourselves more in line but at a lower rate. The budget going into effect on July 1st includes nearly three billion dollars to help people with disabilities and it ups the rainy day fund by 10 percent. There's also millions earmarked for the creation of the state's first ever child tax credit. Millions of working households with children under 12 will receive the first ever Illinois child tax credit as much as $300. That amounts to $50 million in total that we're giving back to folks who need it most. And there's $290 million in there to address homelessness and the statewide grocery tax is now gone. We eliminated the state sales tax on groceries, which helps every Illinoisan deal with the effects of higher prices in the checkout line and keeps food on the table. But that doesn't necessarily mean extra pennies in your pocket at the store, as municipalities may now levy their own tax. Now, Republicans aren't happy with the spending plan at all. Senate Republican leader John Curran stating this morning that Pritzker, in six years, has raised the cost of state government by over 30 percent, adding, in his opinion, Pritzker is on a taxpayer-funded spending spree.